Coffee and quilting go together perfectly. Today we are sketching the coffee bean design in a garlic knot quilt block. I'm Andy and this is True Blue Quilts, a place to enjoy, experiment, and excel as you quilt. Did you know there's a companion workbook for this sketch series? Find that at truebluequilts.com. Coffee beans are one of my favorite designs when you have a chain or strong diagonal line in your quilt. You could do these with sashing. Um, I'm just drawing a loop and putting that wavy line through the center to Imagine, you know, just to give me another traveling line to add some more detail to the design. And this is a really good skill builder for for sketching those ovals or those uh, continuous curves in your block. So the garlic knot design has two primary colors and then your background fabric. And I would sketch this design with a coordinating thread in each of these areas. So I've got my first line of coffee beans and then I can travel over to the next corner and really work on filling that space. That first one got a little skinny and then we're here and then we can come into the middle print and sketch those. You can alternate the directions if we wanted these background beans to go in a different direction than the main print of our design and you see how that looks and I'm traveling there in between the individual squares so that all of my beans go in the same direction. You can slide across here to the far corner and we have an easy curvy design that we can travel and fill our quilt with coffee beans. Do you need a small quilt project to practice your free motion quilting? Click on the video below where I share different layout options for quilts made from charm squares. They're quick and easy and you'll be stitching in no time. Before you go, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. I share new videos each week with lots of quilting tips and techniques. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.